Shot clock down to three. Brogdon. He's guarded by a very good defender in Dylan Brooks. And Brissett says the bank is open. Tyrese Halliburton averaging nearly 10 assists per game in a Pacers uniform as Adams dunks it home. I mean, that's what he does well. That got partially blocked. And now running is Bain. And Bain the basket and the foul. He's already got five. Oh, what a pass. He gets away with it, Chris. His commitment, his motivation, uh, that's just not measurable. Not, not by the analytics. And Heal got it to go. And that's picked off. Jackson running again is Bain, Jones, and Jackson throws it down. Heal, Taylor, Duarte, Smith, Halliburton. That's the five for the Pacers. Buddy with a left hand. He comes in with that left hand. You got to stay down on him. Slow mo. Got to stay down. Yeah, that's that's what you call um, shot discipline. It's because he's willing to pass. They know that he'll get it back to him. And Melton flicked it away from Heald and puts it down. League at an average of 30 points per game, and they're nearly there, and they are there with Bain with a chance for a three. And he doesn't have a lot of body fat, but that's got to be close to 225 or 215. Six, six. Nice cut. Dunk by Taylor. Delivery by Brockton speed game and they've done it as well as anybody in basketball and you know what makes it interesting to me there used to be players they called tweeners and that was a bad thing the size and, and the inside play is means you got to find somebody that can help you do something and Brogdon the other way answers quick pass from uh, Lance they almost play a zone oh he made it somehow Walsh made it. Brogdon tries to clear Brooks. He's not going to get. Brooks is a very good defensive player and really puts you in a tough spot. Lance makes it anyway. They are 12 and 2 overall without their All Star. They've got plenty of ways to get you, and that's Brooks. Here, unfortunately, you've got everybody contributing. It's a lot harder to stop. And Clark on the alley oop. He has all eight of his out. points. He's got position on the inside. Conchar with the steal. Took it right away from Isaiah Jackson. Up and under is Jaron Jackson. With a little Euro step. That was a back-to-back -back back, right, Chris? Yep, and he's not played in seven of the last nine, battling that toe injury. But good to have him back out there as Brooks got there again. And what a shot by Duarte. Yeah, but it was early in the clock. Because Rick was trying to say move it, which does the same thing. He and Jackson both had double doubles on Sunday in Atlanta. Adam spins and scores. Milton. Oh, what a confident jumper he shot. They've only scored 22 in this quarter, 25 in the first. Taylor, his third field goal. Melton, double team. Adams. Because I thought Memphis's energy was exceptional. And I'm not sure they can do that the entire game. But you get some tough matchups as you had there with Jaron Jackson. They're just trying to speed it up. Gee. Oh, he missed it. But Adams, the offensive rebound. They'll go right back to work. Jaron Jackson Jr. counted and a foul. And now Bain. He's been perfect tonight. 21 for Desmond Bain. And he lays it in. You can see both sides got tired there. Tonight it's going the other way. Here's a drive and a miss. Milton back quickly, running is Jones. Yeah, but you got to get back. Taylor, but Adams got it. And a basket by Williams. He, he's been standing at that line, and if you see it in his hand, you just know that's going in. And the Pacers get one. Smith. He had another 40-point game last they night. They went for 46 last night. You know, and so he goes back-to-back 40s. 
first and second rounds here in Indianapolis are on Thursday and Saturday. And Melton just right down the lane. And nobody stopped him. Jaron Jackson is averaging double figures in his four-year career. Again, only played 11 games last year and scores with the left hand. Um, Popovich, San Antonio, Bill, and they do a great job in player development. Toronto does, Miami does. The Pacers are, are getting much better at that. That'd be a little bit more subjective than you would like it to be. And we've seen that quite a bit. And Clark, the dunk. Double figures, back-to-back -back games for Terry Taylor. Concha comes out of the left corner, not blocked out, able to get the tip dunk. Jared Culver is in, third year out of Texas Tech. He was the sixth pick back in 2019. Hey, KC, KC, big, big, big. Right here, right here. Sykes. KC, come back. I got it. And Washington Jr. This is because it was so hard for them to score and stop uh, Memphis from scoring. Yeah, I think about in front of us as Melton hits his 4 3. Coming right down the floor in the turnover, and they were getting, you know, they're not only getting buckets, but they're getting them, getting them quickly. Taylor spins and scores. Taylor. And had been getting a lot of minutes. Um, for a while earlier in the season, Chris, because Brandon Clark was out a little bit. But uh, obviously with Clark, you got something very different. Been a lot a lot happening this season, yeah. which is part of the reason. I mean, the Pacers um, decided to retool uh, just because, it, truthfully, it made a lot of sense. And that depends on if John Moran plays, because if he does, he's hard to track. And that will do it on a Tuesday night.